So Jay, uh, three two win at the end. Happy with the result, performance wise. What do you think? Yeah, the results are fantastic. You know, they beat us the first round, so we beat them in you know, the second round. But uh, you know, first half we weren't good, weren't good enough. Uh, lucky enough to get the goal in the 45th minute, which is great to go into the dressing rooms as two all. Uh, could have been a different story if it was two one, but um, came our second half and really, you know, stamped our authority on the game, played some good football, uh, and thoroughly deserved the win in the end. Was it hard to play good football on a pretty ordinary pitch? Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame because I think Oakley are a good team, very good team, and uh, you know they do want to play some good football. Uh, however, uh, you know the, unfortunately the ground doesn't allow you that. Uh, but you know we adapted to the conditions quite well, and um, you know like I said, we des we deserve the win. What are your thoughts on having to play a Doherty Cup semi-final on this pitch? No, we'll be making uh, comments to the uh, FFV about that and uh, hopefully get the game uh, changed, switched, because uh, yeah, it's not good enough. If we want to be a showcase uh, championship, uh, as, as the FFV want to be, uh, then uh, we've got to have the best grounds available possible. Um, and at the moment, unfortunately, uh, this ground isn't. What was the message to Ryan after his error? It seemed that Jack Webster grabbed him straight away. Do you know what was said to him then? And what was going on in the drain rooms as well? He's a young boy, obviously, but what was the message to him? Yeah, look, he's made a mistake, and you know we're not going to take his head off for it. I mean, every player makes a mistake in ground. Unfortunately for keepers, their mistakes are, no, uh, are seen more than others. But uh, no doubt that um, you know uh, he he picked himself up, and uh, he'll learn from it, and uh, we'll all learn from it. So we know what to do from now on. But uh, yeah, he's he's fine. And how encouraging is it seeing, first of all, senior boys to get around him after an error like that, and second of all, him to you know really make some really good saves in the second half and bounce back. Yeah, well, that's what that's what the that's what the uh, this club's about. That uh, you know we've got everyone, everyone helps each other, so sticks up for his teammate, works hard for each other, and uh, you know if someone makes a mistake, we're not going to put him down. We're going to try and make him get better, and uh, and that's what that's what the boys did. So um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of him for that. And Matt Bertel, four goals in four games now. You'd be pretty happy with him, and also. Do you think now that he's returned back to the form of that he had last season, where he was leading the Golden Boot and up until his injury? No, he hasn't hit his form at the moment. Absolutely not. He probably knows that too. So he's he's uh, and, and and that's an anonymous fine uh, a sign for for opposition teams when uh, Matty Tertel is banging in the goals, but he's not uh, he's not you know 100 percent yet. So we're we're still waiting. Is it's going to take a bit more time, but I'm sure that once Matty is um, 100 percent, that uh, there'll be no other striker like him in the league. And was Petschkovsky an injury at halftime, replacing yes. him? Yes, 100% an injury. He had a, uh, got a bruised rib, so we're hoping that he'll be right for the game against uh, Melbourne Victory next week. Uh, Ruthven was rested this week. How good is it having four you know, midfielders that can uh, move between the 6, the 8 and the 10 position all in the one squad? Well, look, you know, I've always wanted to have players in my team that are versatile that can play two or three positions, not just one. Uh, and, and we have the luxury of that at the moment. So, you know, Tyson went as number six, held Dusan, uh, Dusan uh, Bosniak really quiet today. Um, I thought he had an exceptional game. He played very smart. Um, and, and that's what you want from someone like Tyson, who's a very experienced campaigner. You know, Wally, he was, um, you know, he had a tough, tough gig today, but, you know, he came up with a good second half and scored the winning goal. And, you know, Ross Honest, well, everyone knows Ross, Ross was excellent second half, especially. It was a bit congested first half, so we couldn't really get him to get the ball, and uh, he was finding it hard to get space. But um, you know, Kamal came on and, and changed that. He sort of he, he could get away from his uh, from his opponent quite easily, and uh, you know, Ross went on out left, and you know. And, and that's what you want. You want, you know, Ross from number ten went to eleven, and uh, you know Tyson went from uh, eight to a to a six or a ten. So, and 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 we we'll, we'll, we've got players who can play two or three positions. So anyone that's missing, you can fill in no problem. And how good is it having Honos in the team? He hasn't missed a beat since he arrived. Do you think it's one kept the other boys on their toes, and two just added to the depth? Well, it's added to the depth, no doubt about, because we've lost Kieran Dover for the time being and Ross Archibald, so uh, I'm thankful he, he came along. But look, Ross is uh, an exceptional player, and um, you know he can do he can do great stuff. The conditions of the grounds aren't suiting him at the moment because he's what type of player he loves to turn players, and unfortunately, is a bit slippery at times. But um, look, he's he's adapted pretty well. He hasn't missed a beat, like you said, training hard, and uh, you know he'll get better and better. Sang the song pretty passionately in the rooms. Did this win have an extra sort of feel about it? Oh, look, you know, for some people, yeah, not for me. For me, it's three points, that's all it is. So, you know, I sang the song hard like I did last week and this week and the week before that. So for me, it, it's not, you know, I don't know, some people might think it's something special for them, but for me, it's just another game, another three points, and we look forward to next week.